Hi, I'm Moss, and I'm here to tell you about my important role in the ecosystem and how climate change threatens our very own survival. Initially hidden from view, a soft down beneath your feet. Possibly a bed where fairies might slumber in the twilight hours or even a gardener's nemesis. Yet it doesn't take a keen eye to find when you're in just the right spot and look down, you can catch a glimpse of a dark forest green. Then it seems to be everywhere, creating a magical carpet. When you get up close, it is like entering another world, the secret world of moss. People might think we're all alike, but actually I come from a massive family of biophytes, comprising of nearly 800 species across Britain alone. If enough water is present, moss can grow on various surfaces, including trees, fallen logs, roots, rocks, ponds and streams, even on things people have left behind, the long forgotten cabin, chairs and tables. Yet trees provide unique advantages that encourage the growth of mosses. Moss can grow more easily in the nooks and crannies of the bark's rough and irregular texture. In places where other plants struggle to grow, moss thrives, taking its nutrients from the air. We're often taken for granted and infuriate gardeners. However, us mosses have a few tricks up our sleeve that can benefit the natural world around us. Moss acts like a mat as a soil stabiliser and prevents erosion by creating a network of tiny root-like structures called rhizoids that help anchor the plant and help hold the soil together. Moss improves the soil quality by retaining moisture and breaking down into organic matter, releasing the nutrients they have received from the atmosphere. A downy bed for a princess to slumber, moss creates a microhabitat for a host of invertebrates and a building material for birds to build comfy nests. As the earth heats up due to increased carbon in the atmosphere, there will be prolonged droughts and changes in the amount of rainfall. This will result in a loss of diversity of moss species as habitats become drier and hotter and only species that can endure these conditions will survive. Hey! Hey moss, what? You forgot to mention I'm also a sponge. A sponge? Yes, I'm a vital part of the global carbon cycle. Did you know that half a square metre of moss can absorb up to one kilogram of CO2. Oh, that's cool. A bit like a teenager, moss doesn't need things to be tidy. At Hearts and Middlesex Wildlife Trust, we positively encourage cluttered wildlife corners of biodiversity with piles of logs and stones to create habitats for moss and the invertebrates who depend on it. Our management of varying habitats, such as wetlands, woodlands and grasslands, support the different range of mosses that thrive within our reserves. Why not step outside to see the wonders of moss up close? Find your nearest nature reserve at www.heartswildlifetrust.org.uk slash nature reserves.